What's up, everybody? Welcome into my MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a fantasy draft team, so if you haven't watched the video where I go through and draft all the players, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's It was a lot of fun. Um, I like recording live commentary, so like playing the game and talking at the same time. And in fact, uh, for the continuation of this Pirates season mode, that's what I'll be doing. So I kind of messed up uh, this first episode. I'm obviously doing post-commentary, so I'm recording the commentary after doing the gameplay and editing and all that stuff. Excuse me. Oh, I have weird drainage right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I decided to share that, but uh, anyway, uh, from this point forward, after game one, I will be doing live commentary, so I'll play the games and do commentary at the same time, and then I'm also planning on doing an entire series of games in one video. Uh, I can play Power Pros games pretty fast, um, and if I don't have, like, big chunks of stuff that I'm talking about that I want to keep, uh, the videos are going to be pretty short, so I'll be able to do about three games in, like, 15 to 20 minutes in a video, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I already did games two and three, which will come out later this week. Um, that video is, like, 21 minutes or something like that, uh, but there's some stuff that I talked about in there that went on for... A couple minutes each. Uh, I wanted to keep that, but I'm, I'm going to try to cut that down, not do that as much, just for the sake of uh, of video length. I don't know if you guys, <coughs> I don't know if you guys are interested in listening to me talk for that long. Um, I mean, I know my baseball card videos are longer, but that's a little different, I think. Um, all right, so, okay, I don't, I don't want to talk about my drainage, but like, it's really weird. There's like stuff in the back of my nose, like right at the roof of my mouth. That's uh, it's really weird. Okay, so Pittsburgh Pirates uh, drafted a great team. Um, I love my pitching staff. I have Felix Hernandez, Barry Zito, Roy Oswalt, Tim Wakefield, and Jared Weaver. Those are my, my starting pitchers. My lineup, let's see if I can remember it offhand, Curtis Granderson, Dustin Pedroia, Adrian Gonzalez, um, Ryan Zimmerman, Hunter Pence, Carlos Quentin, J.J. Hardy, J.R. Tolls. I think that's everybody. I think. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a great team. Uh, the reason I want to do a fantasy draft mode is uh, because I like picking all the, all the players, obviously. Uh, but I also like, you know, we get so used to seeing certain players on certain teams, um, especially in older games where it's like, oh, yeah, in 2008... Uh, Ryan Howard was on the Phillies, you know, so, I mean, he's been on the Phillies his entire career, which is part of the fun. I don't know where he ended up in this, uh, in this series just yet, but we'll find out soon enough, um, because I'm sure we'll see Ryan Howard at some point. Um, and then just all the players all over the place and, and seeing who ended up where and, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I like doing fantasy draft teams, plus in a game like this where it's more of a fun attitude, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, MLB Power Pros is one of the most, uh, like, dynamic games that I've ever played. Uh, it's got a lot of depth, a lot of statistical depth, uh, and the gameplay is solid, but, uh, it's still kind of fun and lighthearted, so I feel like this, this presentation style was perfect for a fantasy draft mode. Alright, so here we have Carlos Quinton hitting a two-run home run. Uh, <laughs> the Pirates, we did really well in this opening game. Uh, we're on the road playing against the Atlanta Braves, as you can see, uh, in Atlanta. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I wanted to talk about about my team. If you didn't watch the draft video, it, I got into the later rounds before realizing uh, that I didn't have a catcher yet. <laughs> so J.R. Tolls is my catcher, uh, and he has done pretty well in the first three games. Um, I'm very impressed. He, he doesn't have the greatest hitting attributes, um, but I've played this game so much that... I mean, it kind of doesn't really matter because I'm pretty good at this game, uh, at least batting. Um, so uh, I've been able to do some uh, some good stuff with J.R. Tolls. He's getting on base a lot, getting a lot of hits for me through the first three games. Uh, so that is good. Here's me picking off, uh, I believe that was Shannon Stewart trying to steal second base. Uh, Curtis Granderson ended up going six for six or five for five in this game. Uh, Granderson, I'm so excited to have him at the top of the lineup. Uh, he's one of the better players in this game. Uh, 2008 was, 
I'm trying to remember what he did, and, and it's hard to believe that this game was, uh, it came out 10 years ago, so all these stats and ratings and everything uh, reflect these players 10 years ago, so it's hard to remember sometimes uh, how players did in 2008, uh, but I'm doing my best here. Um, and then uh, Carlos Quinton, uh, 2008 was his the best year of his career, um, so I'm, I'm excited to have him. He was my one homer pick, I mentioned that in the draft video. Um, I had to pick some White Sox player, and uh, I'm happy that it ended up being Carlos Quinton, because during his team, or sorry, during his time with the White Sox, uh, he was my favorite player on the team. Um, so I'm excited to have him on uh, on this roster. Um, as far as positions that I'd like to upgrade, probably catcher. Um, I'll look to draft a better catcher. Not that I don't love J.R. Tolls, I really do. Uh, but uh, I think of all the positions, catcher is my weakest. Um, players that I could end up trading. Oh, this this scared me, seeing Felix Hernandez being taken out of the game with uh, elbow pains. Usually that means uh, Tommy John surgery for a pitcher in this game. Uh, but uh, he ended up being okay after the game. Uh, didn't have to go on any injured lists or anything. He is fine, and he will make his next scheduled start. So don't worry, Pirates fans. Felix Hernandez is healthy. Uh, here's the only run of the game for the Atlanta Braves. It came after Felix Hernandez uh, was taken out of the game. They scored off of Joel Pinheiro, who uh, came on out of the bullpen uh, to finish things off here. But, yeah, anytime you see the red exclamation point over a player in Power Pros, it means they got injured. Uh, anytime you see the black exclamation point over a player in Power Pros, it means they made a mistake. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's difficult. I should have done a better job handling Felix Hernandez there. Um, he, uh, he was panting, so, like, over the course of the game, as your pitcher runs out of energy, he'll start to breathe heavier. And uh, the last animation that he does, he's, like, they pant really heavily. And if you keep them in the game for too much longer after that, uh, it really increases their, uh, their chance of getting injured. Um, so I should have taken Felix out before that, but it ended up being okay um, for the future. I will not push them that hard. I should take them out uh, when it gets to that point. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. I don't have much to say uh, here after the video. Uh, usually I do have stuff to say, but I have to go take a shower and go to work. So I don't have a lot of time, and i got to get this uploaded and, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care.